Fuck all these niggas and bitches, they dead to me. I got the sauce, I got the remedy. Say my dog, but act like an enemy. I make a call and turn you to Kennedy. I'm wasting my time, I'm wasting my energy. Shot for my confidence, shot for a better. If anyone who criticizes my way of life were to come forward, I'd turn around and kill every single one of their loved ones so that they too could grasp what it's like to experience this hatred of mine. See trouble on your eyes And you're creeping out like your fire Doing the honey in the dash I'm in that race looking on that gas Don't stop talking, bitch, I never asked You was a bum, nigga, that's a fact Rest in my pocket, feeling really bad Fuck it, it's 200 in a cat Leaking them sticks, nigga, like the Taliban Reach them shots, nigga, look like running man Sits in the cold, nigga, with my brother in Getting that bad, nigga, made that another band These niggas hating like they not even relevant I take advice Vitamin, nigga, like medicine. I'm closer with demons that are taking skeletons. Welcome back to the NBA. You were a little winded down the stretch. That's to be expected. How did you cope with that? I'm a dog. I'm a dog. I put in work in, day out. Yeah. <laughs> receipts, Jaw? Where did you keep receipts of? Where did you keep receipts from? Last time I checked, the only receipts I think you kept was the contract you signed off for the suspension. But anyways, like, let me get serious. John Morant, his comeback was epic. I'm not even surprised. I knew he was going to come back like the dog he is, the dog like he said he is. And he capped out an amazing comeback performance. In both ways. They came down by, they, they came back down, 24 points down, versus the New Orleans Pelicans, and from his suspension to to win, to get a game winner layup and win the game. And he dropped 34 points and eight assists. Major job, Ja. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about Ja Morant is threatening the league and his return. What's good, y'all? It's your boy, we'll be back again with another video. All right, Ja, you're back. You shown who you are. Let's continue to show who you are on the court. Nothing off the court, please. We want you to remind everybody who the real best point guard in the league is. Right now, I mean, it's just one game, okay? Tonight, you're going against the Indiana Pacers. You're going against a person that I spoke highly of so far this year. Spoke highly of. And he he's going to bring you calm. His name is Tyrese Halliburton. Now, he's a guy that I, you know, a lot of these critics, not even critics, a lot of these analysts nowadays are saying he might be the best point guard in the league, including myself, even though I'm not saying he's the best. He's in that conversation. Ja is going to wreak havoc. He's going to come out with vengeance, just like he did versus Pelicans. Now, he struggled in the first half versus Pelicans, but the second half, he, he showed who he really is. And I honestly think this game, he's going to really show who he is. First of all, the NBA Pacers, the NBA Pacers like I said, they had to go get a dictionary to look up and define the word defense because they don't have none. They don't have none. They have no defense, right? And so, Ja probably kept receipts of people, not a lot like me, probably, or like a lot of other analysts, talking about who's the best point guard. And he heard the talks and everything, and Ja's going to come out. I, I, I predict Ja's at least going to have 30 points, about 10 assists plus, and he's going to get a W versus the Indiana Pacers. And it's, it's going to be probably a, a elite duel between Tyrese Halliburton and John Morant. Now, Tyrese has been struggling with his shot lately in the last couple of games since the tournament has happened. But I think Ja is going. To, I think Tyrese is going to get going versus Ja because you know who he's who he's going to be against. Both players do. Now, for the rest of the season, can Ja Morant lead the team to the the playoffs? It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. I honestly can't really an answer that question right now because I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, yes, they can because they got John Moran back. Yes, John Moran brings his team a lot more energy, a lot more passion, right? And they feed off of him. But 
The rest of the team, you got to stay consistent around y'all, right? Jared Dustin and Ashley been hooping. Marcus Smart, I don't believe, I honestly haven't been watching Memphis Grizzlies like that. I don't know if Marcus Smart has been hurt. I believe he has because I really haven't seen him in the lineup. Desmond Bain, he's been hooping, but he got to continue to be hooping for, with John Moran. I think he's going to feed off John a lot more. And the rest of the role players around him, we're going to see how they, you know, get impacted by Josh Return. He might can get this team to play in. To the play in because look, the, the West is golden. The West is deep, very deep. And right now, the West is not looking as great. You know, you got Minnesota, they're the best team in the league, best team in, in the West, maybe in the league. Even though the Phillies just show why I'll get to them soon, especially Joel and B. But Minnesota, you got OKC who's on the rise. You still. You got the Clippers, who's definitely on the rise. You got Luka and, you know, Kyrie's are hurt right now, but he'll come back. So Dallas is reckoned with. You got the Lakers to a lesser degree, unfortunately, to a lesser degree. Lakers have been not just showing effort last couple of games. So you got a chance in the West. And then you got the Pelicans. You got, a, you got opponents that not really... Going crazy. Like, even Denver's been losing something. You know, they've been winning and losing. They haven't been... I say, I feel like Denver hasn't been really fully healthy. But Denver's going to be right there. So, like, like I said, Memphis, y'all have a chance. But it's going to come down to one person. Ja Morant. If he can stay on the court and stay hooping, you have nothing but chances with this guy. So, Ja, my message to you, continue balling, continue continue is inspiring your play on the court. Please stay out of trouble. Please don't do no stupid stuff off the court, Ja. You feel me? Because we love, I'm, I'm excited for you to have to have you back in the game. I'm excited. It, everybody's excited. This is great for basketball to have you back on the court. It's great for the league. Because we're going to see a lot of highlight plays. We're going to see some post risers from you. We're going to see the talking. See, we want to see that trash talk on the court. We want to see that dog. When you say you a dog, we want to see that in the game. We want to see you how you speak in a press conference. We want to see you talking about you keep receipts. Keep that on the court. Keep talking like you talk keep with your game on the court. You stay like that, everything's going to come back to you, job. And that's all I got to say for this video, man. I hope y'all enjoyed. Give your boy a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Give me to a thousand subscribers for the end of this year. So over. I appreciate y'all tuning in for this video. It's being bold, Will, and I'm out.